Hey guys, it's Ashley with Country View Monograms. Thanks so much for stopping by again today, and thanks to all our new subscribers. We really appreciate it. Um, so today I'm bringing you another work with me or studio style vlog. Um, I'm just going to bring you along as I work throughout the day. So today is Thursday morning. It's uh, right at 8 a.m. So not getting a super early start this morning. Um, I do have to do a lot of prep work this morning still. I need to print orders, get some stuff ordered, um, just do quick cleanup, get everything prepped. All right, We still have about, I don't know, maybe 15 to 20 orders we need to get shipped this week for kids' birthday shirts and probably 20 jackets as well, so not too bad. I was able to get a little bit accomplished um, earlier in the week. So while my computer is turning on and getting ready, I'm going to go ahead and do some prep work and get my stabilizer cut for the day that I'm going to use. I use this lightweight tearaway um, with my kids shirts. It's from, it's World Widener, might not be calling that or pronouncing that correctly, but I get the 12 inch wide and I think they're 50 yard rolls, so I usually get two of them at a time. This lasts me for quite a while. I like to use tearaway along with poly mesh on my kids shirts. I feel like it just helps keep the hoop nice and tight. So it's about nine o'clock now. I have my supplies or my new jackets ordered for today for my orders. That's almost $400 worth of supplies right there. Um, that's the cost of doing business though. So I'm gonna get just a few of the files set up so I can get all three machines running. Then I'm gonna sit here and try to get the rest of them set up while the um, initial ones are finishing up.
This too sweet um, strawberry design is a design I'm test stitching um, for creative appliques and then I, it's also a sample for my own shop. So this time I just stitched it. I did not um, have an order for this or um, have one that I needed to make on a shirt. So I did do a smaller size design. I think this is maybe the 5 by 7 and um, I stitched it on a piece of um, just fabric. I actually prefer to use flannel. I know a lot of people use that interlocking knit. Um, I use just the plain white flannel from Joann's. Um, you can find it on sale pretty frequently. Um, and I cut my piece to approximately 12 by 12. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and trim this up and then take it over to my photo box and get some um, nice staged photos of it. So the first thing I do is take some photos of just the folded shirt itself, or in this case, the folded fabric um, that's going to be staged like a shirt. So I just do some um, square pictures of just the shirt cropped in, and then I also take a couple pictures with some props, either like a bow, ribbon, um, trim, sometimes some shorties or some flowers. Um, I'll see what I have that matches this, though. All right, and then here's my stage photo. I have just a cute little pair of ruffles, seersucker shorts, a matching bow, and put some just plain white flowers. Um, and then I'll take the photo, you know, pretty cropped in so that the pants and the bow that are, are not um, the main focus of the photo.
almost one o'clock. We just took the last 15 minutes or so and set up the rest of the files that we need to get done for this week. Um, I'm gonna, I went ahead and transferred those to the machine just like I showed you. I actually transfer them directly via cable rather than use a USB drive. It's just easier for me. I don't have to hassle with going back and forth with the USB. And then also my older six needle that's right here actually doesn't take a USB drive, but it does have the port on the back so I can connect it directly to a cable. Um, so that's kind of the other reason I uh, um, use a USB cable versus the actual USB drive that you see a lot of people using. So we have quite a bit of orders done. They're all stacked up right here. Um, we have one that's just a name jacket. A couple just t-shirts with a monogram on them. I'm going to actually go and take some uh, new photos of these. I uh, want to get some new listings put up that are have a little bit better photo. An occupational therapist jacket. All right, turn things around so you can see them better. A pediatrics hoodie. A bunch of monogrammed t-shirts. These are all the same monogram to the same person, just five different shirts. She must be like me. She must love to just wear a monogrammed t-shirt every single day. Um, maternal newborn jacket. Labor and delivery. A respiratory therapist zip up and then an obstetrics one we do a lot of these like labor and delivery themed ones with just various name departments but we do a bunch of them I'm gonna go ahead and start packaging these up
All right, we're getting ready to head out to the post office. My camera died while I was packaging orders, so I didn't get a finish showing the, that. But we have quite a few here. Um, you ready to drop off? That box is full of individual packages. Um, so we're getting ready to drive to the post office right now. Um, like I've mentioned in previous videos, we have an awesome post office here locally. Um, we're kind of in a unique situation with our post office. Um, we live in a very rural area, and um, so we're outside of city limits anyways. So I'd have to drive to the post office or um, have our mail carrier pick up the packages. Um, and I, for multiple reasons, don't really like doing that. Um, I prefer to take them myself. I just seem to have better luck with that. Um, but it's a unique situation because our local, we don't even have a local post office for the town that we're considered to be part of. Um, it closed as part of the closure several years ago. It was a couple years before we moved to this um, address, this house. So um, we actually have to go to the next town over. So we live like a mile out of town, but we have to go to the next town over, which is, it's about five or six miles, so it's not a big deal. Um, it just takes a while to, you know, get out of the house, go there, drop them off, come back. Um, but they are actually the best post office. I actually prefer going there anyways. Um, like I said, we that's the town we used to live in, and they just take care of us. So from our last video, We've had a lot of people, or one of our last videos, about being overwhelmed with orders and what we should do and if we should shut down. Um, we did go ahead and shut down for a week with that, and the videos were kind of delayed coming out just because I was so overwhelmed. I didn't even have time to edit or do anything like that. Um, but we did end up shutting down, and that is usually the best... Um, course of action to catch up for our shop that we've found and what I do and I might talk about this in a separate video kind of in more detail is I actually um, deactivate all my listings I don't put my shop in vacation mode it's that vacation mode for some reason just seems to like drop you in the search results but I found if I just deactivate my listings put them like in, as inactive and then when I'm ready to open back up, I just reactivate them. And you don't have to pay a new listing fee unless they would have had, have expired while you're closed. Um, that honestly seems to work best for me, especially when I'm just um, closing to um, catch up. Um, I don't have an automated message on that way. Um, people don't go to your shop and see that you're on vacation because then they think like, oh, she's actually on vacation on a beach somewhere, and you know, that's not the case. Um, I'm just, I'm there in the office, I'm working, I'm just trying to catch up. So um, that's one of the, that's really the best way that we've found um, to catch up. We've had a lot of people suggest extending processing times, and that's honestly, I know that works for a lot of people, but, that's honestly uh, not something I'm comfortable with. Um, we, for my monogram and nurse shop, I already run a two week production time. I like to keep it at um, one week, but that's just not feasible right now. Um, with my schedule, having a little one at home with me, just the number of orders, and then also the blank shortage right now. Um, it's hard to get certain sizes and colors and of jackets and shirts and stuff. Um, it's still hard to get those. And one of the main distributors I work with has multiple um, warehouses around the country. And um, the closest warehouse, if I order by noon, I get my packages or my orders the next day. But the problem has been in the past year that you know my local warehouse doesn't have what I need um, so I ended up have to order from two or three sometimes even four warehouses throughout the country and some of those may be across the US and it takes you know a week to get to me instead of next day 
Um, so I haven't been able to keep that one week production time I'd like. Uh, I finally did have to bump it up. I had it one to two, but then I've changed it to just two because I've noticed that if people see that it's one to two, they kind of expect it to ship at one instead of two. And I was almost always shipping right at that two week mark. So they changed it to just two weeks. Um, but I'm not comfortable going over two weeks. I'd rather uh, deactivate my shop, deactivate my listings, you know, work, catch up at least a couple days worth and then reopen and take some more new orders. Um, once you get past that two week mark, you get so many messages about you know when is my order shipping why is this taking so long you'll start seeing people you know mention that it took forever to get their package and and while they they should see that that production time is very obvious in the listing um you know and it gives them an estimated ship date they're on etsy it tells them when to expect it let's face it they don't even though it's right there they still end up messaging you and honestly that just causes me too much stress and I don't want to um, cause my customers to leave to give them a reason to leave a negative review on things taking so long even though they knew that you know when they were ordering um, so I let I, I just I'm not comfortable going over two weeks I know a lot of people do have longer production time that's just not not something I'm comfortable with um, but if that works great for you great um, the other thing is is I have had it at longer than two weeks before um, like when I needed to take a time some time off I did that over Christmas actually because I wasn't gonna work the week of Christmas and I didn't want to close um, and like I said just so many messages so many several reviews mentioning that it took too long to get their item and it oh it, it just doesn't slow orders down in my shop I still get the same volume of orders now when I in my kids like birthday shop like my applique shop yeah if you put it at longer than two weeks it seriously slows your orders down um, because those are usually a little bit more time sensitive um, there's usually a soon or you know date that they need it by um, but my monogram shop they're usually ordering it as something for themselves or maybe as a gift they do some some of them were ordered as gifts um, but a majority are like something that someone's ordering for themselves um, just as you know something personal for themselves um, so I feel like it just doesn't slow things down um, when there's not a hard date that they need it by. Um, that doesn't mean that they're willing to wait though. I don't know, I feel like I'm rambling, so um, I'm gonna sign off to, thanks guys so much for um, listening to my rambling again. And I appreciate each and every one of you that stopped by my channel. Um, if you could give us a thumbs up, that helps us out a lot. Um, and if you would subscribe, that'd help us a lot too. Um, we appreciate all the love and support we've been getting. Um, and I just hope that uh, we are able to provide you guys some motivation, show you that it's completely possible to, you know, do this thing from home, embroider, uh, and make a living doing this. So guys, thanks so much. And until next time, bye.